because, as you all probably know, when you've either read the book or seen the TV episode, the ending is very, very random to this book. Very strange indeed. Uh, so once he soon discovers the truth about Camp Nightmoon, that he's actually in a government testing lab or whatnot, uh, it turns out that he was just some like test because his parents come out at the end and they tell Billy about their expedition going to a planet called Earth. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a bit random, a bit odd kind of ending, but uh, obviously the book overall is really good, but uh, what happened to Billy and his parents at the end? Well, they obviously go on some sort of an expedition to a dangerous planet called Earth. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, actually, I would consider our planet being very dangerous. I mean, I was going to say, well, say, I don't think we have any strange uh, monster, mutant, werewolf, dog creatures, you know, called Saber living on our planet. But then again, we do have some very dangerous uh, animals and mammals living on our planet and reptiles, obviously. But uh, yeah, um, so obviously they go on some sort of expedition to Earth, you know, to do research and whatnot because they're at some testing lab in the book. You know, that's where Billy is, so his parents are obviously all, all in on that. So uh, they obviously want to go exploring other planets, so the next planet they go to explore is Earth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's obviously um, going to be very dangerous for them. So, uh, But uh, yeah, guys. Um, I mean, it pretty much tells you what's going to happen at the end of the book, you know. I mean, you just have to use your imagination, like any ending, really. But, uh, yeah, this one's a bit funny and you, you can play around with, because obviously they're going to be going to planet Earth, and it's going to be really dangerous, and they're going to discover that we have all these crazy, dangerous animals living here, reptiles like crocodiles and bears and, you know. But uh, we don't have any, like, weird, crazy, yeah, mutant dog wolf beasts like Saber living here, but... Um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty interesting, you know, it, it's one of the most unusual Goosebump endings, I think. I, it's very strange and random. Uh, it does feel a bit like R. F. Stein. It's almost like he couldn't think of an ending, like, for this book. He just came up with something really random. And then again, some of the books he's come up with something really random at the end. But, uh, this one is definitely, could be the holy grail of that. <laughs> strange endings for a Goosebump book. But uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much all for this video. Um, I will be doing a couple more of these, uh, but mainly because I'm doing like book reviews and stuff, you know, I don't really feel like it's really necessary now to do too much, you know, with the whole ending, like what happened after this family. But if you do want me to keep up with these kinds of videos, like what happened to the family at the end of Welcome to Dead House or Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, just let me know and I will keep doing them. But uh, yeah, for this one, it's pretty much just you know, it's kind of already written there. They go to planet Earth and you just have to use your imagination because we live on Earth, so we know what's here and what's dangerous and, you know, what we're surrounded by. We know what goes on here. So uh, you just imagine how they would fit into it kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon.